guys, this is Scotty with Trek Pro City in Victoria. Uh, today we are checking out the 2022 Trek Madone SL7, SLR7, sorry. This is Trek's flagship racing road bicycle. It is built for speed. Let's just call it that. Very aerodynamic machine. Uh, as you can see, it's a beautiful piece of work. We start with uh, Trek's really cool paint job here. It's dark prismatic, they call it. So it's almost like a rainbow trout in different light. You can see different colors. A lot of metallic fleck in there. It looks amazing in the sunshine. With a classic black front end. I uh, can't go wrong with this paint job. Uh, the Madone SLR frame is uh, made of Trex OCLD 800 carbon fiber, so that's kind of their premium carbon offering, which makes it the lightest in the lineup for the Madone. There is a model above this, the SLR 9 with the Durace, but the SLR 7 we find to be the more palatable price point. If you ask how much this bike is, it's in the $11,000 range, so, you know, it's, it's not a cheap bike. The SLR 9's coming in around the 17k mark, so this is this is definitely a lot more palatable than uh, than the 9, and probably one of our more popular selling Madone models. Why is that? Well, you're getting the premium frame, so this is the lighter frame. It is very compliant. One of the things with the Madone compared to some of the other brands out there in the race or the really high-end speed category is its vertical compliance. So what does that mean? That's comfort on the bike. The seat post area is designed to flex a tremendous amount. It has this wide seat tube, but actually inside of this, it has a round seat tube. That round seat tube is also made up of carbon fiber. And so when you put a lot of pressure on it, you can actually kind of see it ever so slightly here flexing. So when you're seated, that's gonna absorb the vibrations from the road and make for a more comfortable ride so you don't fatigue as much and so you can ride faster for longer. That, uh, not only is it, it flexes, but it's also adjustable. So underneath the top tube here, there is a uh, Allen key and a slide. And by loosening off the Allen key, we can slide this to the back or the front, and it changes how much the rear end flexes. So a tremendous amount of versatility and the comfort of this bike, which is not something a lot of people talk about when they talk about a speed or a racing era bike. So definitely one thing that sets it apart, and that is available in the SLR frame set. Beautiful aero integration here. So we've got this crazy awesome aero wing bar. As you notice, there are no cables coming through here. Actually, this bike really only has two major cables. Our brake lines come in through the handlebar and down the frame to the front and rear disc brakes. Uh, this is Shimano's brand new 2022 uh, 8100 Altegra group. So it's a 12 speed system with a wireless shifting from the front derailleur to kind of the junction box inside the frame. Our battery and everything is located in underneath our, our uh, control panel here. So we can take this out and uh, do any servicing if we need to. With the new Shimano group, all of the charging is done on the rear derailleur. So there's a small flap that we open up and plug that in when we need to charge the system. Uh, it's electronic, obviously. Uh, from there, one trigger is the Olus. Uh, Elite wheel set, so nice deep uh, 51 mil depth uh, wheels on this. Definitely kind of cater to the aerodynamic aspects of the frame, keep this bike rolling along at, at speed really nicely. With a, a DT Swiss hub, so excellent quality wheel set on there. So the part spec is really top notch. I mean, the Elis Elite saddle, I find that to be very comfortable. I rode this saddle last year. I actually rode this exact bike, um, not this one, this one, but a 58 centimeter version and uh, really loved it. Um, all out speed. I'm definitely more of a climber and this caters to my weaknesses where, you know, going downhill fast and carrying momentum on the flats really, really fast. Uh, because I'm a lighter rider, I have troubles with that compared to the heavier riders. And so I could still climb really well with this bike, but I was definitely a lot faster on some of my weaker points on the road. Yeah, I guess the minor um, upgrades from years prior, uh, it's got a threaded T47 bottom bracket now instead of a press-in bottom bracket. So people are liking that from a maintenance perspective. 
and, and paint upgrades. So yeah, basically that's the Madone SLR7 in a nutshell for 2022. Uh, pretty rare bike. I don't think we're gonna see a lot of these this year, uh, but certainly uh, an excellent model to be looking at if you're looking for a really premium road bike that's gonna carry you along nice and quick on your group rides or if you're racing. Thanks for checking our video. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, please put them in the bottom. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, we'll let you know when we get out some more, more videos.